Welcome back. So to use dependency injection, we need to start adding a few libraries from Microsoft. And think of it this way, we also need an interface for our print class right here. Now let me just try and open it. The reason is that to do dependency injection, we have to do dependency injection through our entire system, right? So if we start using dependency injections, then you have to do it all over the place. Meaning that if I want to use dependency injection in here, for instance, and instead of using the iCustomer repository like I'm doing right now, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to start using the service because the UI shouldn't go directly to the repository. It should actually use the service. So let's just say iCustomer service right here inside our application. And let's just import that service. There we go. And let's just call it customer service. Customer service. There we go. And then I'll kind of say, instead of, like we did before, create a new service here or a new repository, let's start using dependency injection, right? Again, notice, now I can just, I don't have to worry about how this is actually created. Let's actually do an underscore right here to make it right. All I have to worry about is I have access to it somehow on runtime, right? So I just removed the new keyword from here, and I'm going to allow instead my program in the next lesson to take care of dependency injection into this printer. Good. Let's just scroll down because now, of course, everything broke. So as we're moving down, I'll start seeing some errors, I guess. Now, I think the biggest thing is that we still have information about the application service here. So I'm just going to kill this entire region. Entire region. Gone. What the? Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Because, there we go. Let's instead actually start using the service and use the service to kind of create a customer right here, right? So I'm just going to switch all repository calls into instead of using repository, I'm going to start using our beautiful service that we just created. So looking for errors right here. Now they are shown out here in the line, so I could just click that. But let's just do it right here. We have an update customer. Instead, what we want to do is call the service and call update customer, right? So again, this is just adding this step by step. Now notice right here, I expect to get a customer to update. So we're just going to fix that. We can also find a customer right here. There we go. And then instead of doing this, let's just add an actual customer that we want to update in here. So there we go. We just say new customer. Now I know this needs to be improved, but it's just to kind of get this moved from one place to the other. So we're going to say new first name. There we go, comma, new last name. Now this is stuff I would unit test. Just to make sure that I'm not forgetting any fields right here, I would unit test this. But right now let's just do this manually. New address, address. And since this is an update, I also need to bring in the ID, right? ID for edit. There we go. So now I've just created this with the customer service instead. Now the next thing I need is the delete customer. So I'll just use my service for that as well. I also need to save the customer. That's actually the one we called create customer now. There we go. And again, let's just use the service right here. And that was the one we called new customer. Yep, so there we go. So I've pretty much made all the different things we had inside our repository before. I've just added those as the service now. So this should be it for this lesson. Now we're actually back up and running with this setup. Now notice right now, the printer seems to be needing some kind of interface. So I'll of course get an error now and I can't run my program because I cannot cre create a printer like this with a new statement. So just to end this next lesson, we're going to add an interface for the printer and start dependency injection so that everything will be dependency injected and we can make this work like a boss. See you next time, have fun.